Hey everyone, this is Tony Lenz. Uh, I'm bringing you a tool called Noise Advanced. Uh, I was pretty tired of making the same uh, animations on a noise, so I just decided to make uh, a noise with some of the animations as sliders. So, as you can see, you can slide around things like uh, the speed of Z and uh, speed of size of X and Y, uh, or you can make the image uh, translate in X. So, if you see, yeah, it'll just update and it's a bit more user friendly than having to type in those expressions every single time. Uh, and you can get some really subtle results or some not so subtle results. Usually, honestly, I just use it mostly to uh, revolve the Z, but with just a slider. Um, I always hated typing out the expression, so I figure, hey, you might as well type it out only once and then uh, reap the benefits from there. Yeah, and by default, the noise advanced will come in uh, exactly the same as a noise. So if you have a noise and you need to match it, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. You can type in the same settings uh, and they will match. The only other thing of note uh, is I added this uh, overscan feature. Um, so I always find it really annoying that uh, the noise ended at the bounding box. So uh, I just added this feature, which is just kind of a uh, adjust view box. But if you show overscan, you'll see that the pattern remains. So even if you took the image and uh, moved it, uh, you'll see that the overscan is going to extend the pattern instead of mirroring the edge or something like that. That would be quite useful if you're using noise to do something like distortion with like uh, a glass gizmo or something like that, um, and don't worry, it'll still it'll still function as the same if you plug it in uh, with the overscan. And you just replace everything works just like the normal noise. It's very simple. But yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I've used it a lot in production uh, over and over and over again, and uh, people seem to like it. So I thought you guys uh, would enjoy. Uh, so. So one quick uh, tip of the day, I guess, is uh, I get asked a lot to make uh, some sort of caustic pattern. And uh, yeah, I usually do that pretty quickly by just uh, setting the type of the noise to turbulence, uh, putting the octaves down to two, uh, maybe increasing the size a little bit, uh, setting the speed of Z, you start playing that, let's see, you get that nice motion there, and maybe put a little transform on that, like so. Um, so then you can uh, crank the gamma up to like maybe four, and then add an invert node onto there. Probably can invert this. We can just invert the noise, and you have some nice caustics. And yeah, obviously you can play a lot with that, get it nice and slow or as fast as you want. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool stuff. So. Squiggly lines. Like I said, I just made this because I thought it was a really user-friendly way of adjusting noise. Enjoy.